Safety. Well, today is Ash Wednesday, the start of Lent, which is one of the most important seasons for Christians. And it usually involves being in close contact, close proximity to other people. But COVID-19 could make that a little dangerous. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco found out how congregations are carrying on that tradition during the pandemic. Usually, Ash Wednesday in the United States involves crowds, a priest touching foreheads, and speaking into faces. But <coughs> scratch that. We are dealing with a pandemic this time. Instead of having somebody right in your face putting the ashes and speaking in your face, um, the priest will take the ashes, put some holy water with them to bless them like he typically would do. Then the priest will say once to the entire congregation, repent and believe in the gospel or remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. Then put on a mask and sprinkle ashes on each person's head. Limiting actual physical touch of the person. Jennifer Shack is with the Archdiocese of Cincinnati. She says the rules come from the Vatican. Her co-worker Dominic Albano says sprinkling is the European way. Kind of goes back further than the thumb tracing, so in, in a certain sense, it's even a, a more traditional way of doing it. Susan Mahaney at Anderson Hills United Methodist Church says that church has another touchless option. We've made available um, these packets, um, and it's basically the ashes brushed on a, on a piece of paper, and they will take it and just move their finger across there and then put it on their forehead. Due to social distancing, you have to sign up online to join its services at 730 tonight. Mass is at 515 at Cathedral Basilica of St. Peter in Chains and less people are allowed inside and most places will live stream mass online. All of those still available today. In Cincinnati, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.